Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to identify the class of your blank DVD media. So, basically try to find out if it's a first class, second class, or third class media. Why is this important? Because the higher the class, the better it is for using for archival purposes. Now, if you're using it to burn PS2 games, Xbox games, or whatever, you want to make sure that you're using the very high quality disk. If not, then your computer or your console or whatever you're using may have a hard time reading your data and plus over time your data might degrade because you're using a very poor quality disk. Basically, if you go to digitalfeq.com slash review slash DVD media or go to guides and go here, you'll get to this link basically. And on this page on the left hand side has a list of all the best DVDs, blank DVDs that you can purchase from different countries. Also, there is a table here that helps you distinguish what type of class your blank DVD is. But in order to figure out your class, you have to figure out what is the disk media ID code. So in today's example, I'm going to use Image Burn, and I already inserted a blank DVD plus R into my computer. So let's go ahead and go to Write Image File to Disk, and we see on the right hand side that the disk ID is the Sony D2100. So you go to the website, type in Sony D21, and I have two hits. We see that, yes, it could be classified as a first class media, or it could be classified as a second class media. It just depends on where it was manufactured. Unfortunately, I have no idea if this was manufactured in Taiwan or Japan or Malaysia, but I've been using this type of disc for years, and it's been fine for my PS2 adventure, for example. But maybe you identified your own disc, and your media ID is like somewhere in the first class, great, you won. Or maybe a second class, uh, okay. Or maybe you're in a third class, which is really bad, and I highly recommend you don't use that third class media for anything. It's going to fail in the future for sure. So go ahead, use the data for your own disposal, and make your own judgment call on what you need to do for backing up your own data, whatever that's going to be. If you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.